In mathematics, the seifert van Kampen theorem of algebraic topology, sometimes just called van Kampen's theorem, expresses the structure of the fundamental group of a topological space, in terms of the fundamental groups of two open, path-connected subspaces and that cover. It can therefore be used for computations of the fundamental group of spaces that are constructed out of simpler ones. The underlying idea is that paths in can be partitioned into journeys, through the intersection of an, through but outside, and through outside, in order to move segments of paths around, by homotopy to form loops returning to a base point in, we should assume, and a path connected and that is not empty. We also assume that an are open subspaces with union, equivalent formulations, in the language of combinatorial group theory, is the free product with amalgamation of an, with respect to the homomorphisms an, given group presentations, and the amalgamation can be presented as in category theory, is the pushout, in the category of groups, of the diagram, van Kampen's theorem for fundamental groups, van Kampen's theorem for fundamental groups, let X be a topological space which is the union of two open and path-connected subspaces. Suppose is path-connected and non-empty, and let X0 be a point in it that will be used as the base of all fundamental groups. Then X is path-connected and the inclusion morphisms draw a commutative push-out diagram. The natural morphism K is an isomorphism, that is, the fundamental group of X is the free product of the fundamental groups of N with amalgamation of, usually the morphisms induced by inclusion in this theorem are not themselves injective, and the more precise version of the statement is in terms of push-outs of groups. Unfortunately, the theorem as given above does not compute the fundamental group of the circle, which is the most important basic example in algebraic topology. The reason is that the circle cannot be realized as the union of two open sets with connected intersection. This problem can be resolved by working with the fundamental group void on a set A of base points, chosen according to the geometry of the situation. Thus for the circle, one uses two base points. This groupoid consists of homotopy classes relative to the end points of paths in X, joining points of, in particular, if X is a contractible space, and A consists of two distinct points of X, then is easily seen to be isomorphic to the groupoid often written with two vertices and exactly one morphism between any two vertices. This groupoid plays a role in the theory of groupoids analogous to that of the group of integers in the theory of groups. The groupoid also allows for groupoids a notion of homotopy. It is a unit interval object in the category of groupoids. The category of groupoids admits all colimits, and in particular all pushouts. Theorem. Let the topological space X be covered by the interiors of two subspaces and let A be a set which meets each path component of an. Then A meets each path component of X and the diagram P of morphisms induced by inclusion is a push-out diagram in the category of groupoids. This theorem gives the transition from topology to algebra. In determining completely the fundamental groupoid, one then has to use algebra and combinatorics to determine a fundamental group at some base point. One interpretation of the theorem is that it computes homotopy 1 types. To see its utility, one can easily find cases where X is connected but is the union of the interiors of two subspaces, each with say 402 path components and whose intersection has say 1004 path components. The interpretation of this theorem as a calculational tool for fundamental groups needs some development of backquote combinatorial groupoid theory. This theorem implies the calculation of the fundamental group of the circle as the group of integers. Since the group of integers is obtained from the groupoid by identifying, in the category of groupoids, its two vertices, there is a version of the last theorem when X is covered by the union of the interiors of a family of subsets. The conclusion is that if A meets each path component of all one, two, three-fold intersections of the sets, 
then a meets all path components of X, and the diagram of morphisms induced by inclusions is a co-equalizer in the category of groupoids. Examples One can use Van Kampen's theorem to calculate fundamental groups for topological spaces that can be decomposed into simpler spaces. For example, consider the sphere. Pick open sets and where N and S denote the north and south poles respectively. Then we have the property that A, B in are open path connected sets. Thus we can see that there is a commutative diagram including into A and B and then another inclusion from A and B into and that there is a corresponding diagram of homomorphisms between the fundamental groups of each subspace. Applying Van Kampen's theorem gives the result. However A and B are both homeomorphic to which is simply connected, so both A and B have trivial fundamental groups. It is clear from this that the fundamental group of is trivial. A more complicated example is the calculation of the fundamental group of a genus N orientable surface S otherwise known as the genus N surface group. One can construct S using its standard fundamental polygon. For the first open set A, pick a disk within the center of the polygon. Pick B to be the complement in S of the center point of A. Then the intersection of A and B is an annulus, which is known to be homotopy equivalent to a circle. Then, which is the integers, and, thus the inclusion of intersends any generator to the trivial element. However, the inclusion of in2 is not trivial. In order to understand this, first one must calculate. This is easily done as one can deformation retract B onto the edges labeled by A1 B1 A1 minus 1 B1 minus 1 A2 B2 A2 minus 1 B2 minus 1 and BNN minus 1 BN minus 1. This space is known to be the wedge sum of two N circles which further is known to have fundamental group isomorphic to the free group with two N generators, which in this case can be represented by the edges themselves. We now have enough information to apply Van Kampen's theorem. The generators are the loops and there is exactly one relation. A1 B1 A1 minus 1 B1 minus 1 A2 B2 A2 minus 1 B2 minus 1 and BNN minus 1 BN minus 1 equals 1. Using generators and relations, this group is denoted generalizations. As explained above, this theorem was extended by R. Brown to the non-connected case by using the fundamental groupoid on a set A of base points. The theorem for arbitrary covers, with the restriction that A meets all threefold intersections of the sets of the cover, is given in the paper by Brown and Razik. The theorem and proof for the fundamental group but using some groupoid methods are also given in Peter May's book. The version that allows more than two overlapping sets but with a singleton is also given in Alan Hatch's book below. Theorem 1.20 Applications of the fundamental groupoid on a set of base points to the Jordan curve theorem covering spaces and orbit spaces are given in Ronald Brown's book. In the case of orbit spaces, it is convenient to take A to include all the fixed points of the action. An example here is the conjugation action on the circle. References to higher dimensional versions of the theorem which yield some information on homotopy types are given in an article on higher dimensional group theories and groupoids. Thus a two-dimensional Van Kampen theorem which computes non-abelian second relative homotopy groups was given by Brown and Higgins. A full account and extensions to all dimensions are given by Brown, Higgins and Severa, while an extension to n cubes of spaces is given by Brown and Lode. Fundamental groups also appear in algebraic geometry and are the main topic of Alexander Groth and first Samaner de Geometry Algebra Ket. A version of Van Kampen's theorem appears there and is proved along quite different lines than in algebraic topology, namely by descent theory. A similar proof works in algebraic topology.